All right, today, welcome to a deep dive session of the most favorite shortcuts I use in Logic Pro. Many of them don't require some crazy combination, just really simple one or two keys to get the shortcut done. And um, hopefully I got everything here in the list that I use. I'm pretty sure I missed a couple, but uh, I tried my best to put everything that I use day in and day out so that you guys know it as well. Get a lot of questions in my videos. What shortcuts am I using? How do I do this? How do I do that? Well, hopefully this will answer all those questions for you. So before we jump into the list of shortcuts here, I just want to make sure that your Logic Pro session is set up properly. Go to Logic Pro in the top left hand corner, go to preferences and go to advanced and make sure this is checked off, enable complete features. This just gives you access to everything that Logic Pro has to offer. By default, I don't think this is enabled. Just make sure that is checked off. First pro tip of this video, make sure you have set three accessible tools. I know we all work with two tools mostly, but Logic gives you the ability to add a third one to quickly access that when recording or mixing, whatever you're doing in Logic. Uh, and that third tool is assigned to the right button on your mouse. To get that going, hit Logic Pro in the top left-hand corner. Go to Preferences, General, go to Editing in the sub menu over here, and under Right Mouse Button, set it to Is Assignable to a Tool. By default, it's set to Open Tool Menu, and it just gives you this option over here. Not fun, not cool. Set it to Is Assignable to a Tool, and now you have access to Glorious three tools. Really, really easy. I cannot live without it. It just makes things so much easier in Logic. Next up, if you don't have a MIDI controller and you need to sketch out some ideas down, Logic actually has a built-in virtual keyboard. So if you hit Command K on your keyboard, it'll bring up the virtual keyboard and you can go ahead and put in some of your ideas using the actual keyboard that you have with you very quickly. Command K on your keyboard to close it as well. All right, tip number three is going to be a batch of shortcuts. First things first is how to cycle a region very quickly. Select the region and hit U on your keyboard. That will allow you to cycle that area of your track very quickly. Use that all the time. Hit A on your keyboard to bring out the automation window. If you need to add automation to your track or regions, just like that, hit A on your keyboard. If you have a bunch of plugins open on your screen and you want to quickly clear it out, just hit V on your keyboard and that will close it out. If you hit K on your keyboard, that will turn on and off the metronome. So as you're recording, just to make sure you're in time, you can hit K to access that metronome on and off. All right, next up is zooming in Logic. This is probably one of the most used tools that I use in Logic and that is in combination with the keyboard and the mouse. If you have a mouse like mine that has two scroll wheels, I can hold down the option key on my keyboard, scroll up to make it vertically bigger or horizontally bigger by scrolling to the side. If you don't have a fancy mouse, you can use your trackpad like that, or you can go ahead and uh, use the keys on your keyboard, hold down command, arrow right to make it horizontally bigger or arrow up and down to make it vertically bigger but it just doesn't beat the smoothness of using the scroll wheels on your mouse. Next up is duplicating tracks. If you want to duplicate and have an exact copy or version of a track, you can just select that track, go Command D, and that will duplicate that track with all of its settings. If you want to duplicate a track but not copy all of its settings, you just want that type of track, select that track, and then double click in the gray area, and that will give you a new instance of that type of track. So in that case, we just created a new software instrument track. If I want a new audio track, I have an audio track right over here. I want to create a new one. I select that track and then double click in the gray area and that'll give me a brand new audio track. Now let's go dive into some of my most favorite MIDI keyboard shortcuts here. So here we are in a MIDI region over here. If I select a note, I can hold down the option key on my keyboard and use the arrow keys on my keyboard to bring it up and down by semitones. If I go shift option arrow up or down, I can pull it up by an octave up or down. Command A to select all of my notes, shift option arrow up and down to transpose it by octave. Next, if I wanna make sure that my notes are all lined up to each other, I don't have to manually do this. I can just hit command A on my keyboard and go shift forward slash, sorry, shift backslash and it'll stretch out all the notes to, until it hits the next note in line, right? So once again, select all of your notes by either selecting like that or Command A, 
shift backslash and it stretches out all those notes so that it hits the next note in line. All right, so next up, I wanna show you how to quantize your MIDI quickly after you finish recording. I'm gonna hit R on my keyboard to hit record. All right, so we got our MIDI over there. I'm gonna select the region and bring back the one that we just learned, U, to cycle that. So this is out of time. So what I wanna do is select all the notes Command A on my keyboard to select all and hit Q on my keyboard to quantize. You'll see that they'll snap in place once I hit Q. So that Q value is tied to whatever quantize value is set here. So right now my quantize value is 16. So if I want to quantize an eights, I just change that. Command A, hit Q again, it'll quantize to eights. But right now it's already in line, so nothing had to move. All right, bouncing in place is something I use all the time in Logic and it's really easy to do. All you gotta do is select the region that you wanna bounce in place to create an, a new audio file from it. Go Control B on your keyboard. Do whatever settings you need to do in this window and click OK. And that will bounce down whatever you selected to a new audio file. Now reversing audio is something I do a lot as well, especially in hip hop and trap music. Uh, select the audio region that you wanna reverse. Go Shift, Control R and that will reverse that audio. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to chop up audio and MIDI notes very quickly. Say I wanna chop this in fours. All I gotta do is go to a quarter note value over here, hit down the option key on my keyboard, and right now my third accessible tool is a scissor tool, so I can quickly chop that up, this region into four pieces, just like that with one click, super easy. If I wanna chop that into eights, I just go to the division that it would be set to eights, hold down the option key on my keyboard, use the scissor tool, and then chop it up into eights. If I wanna to go to sixteenths, same thing. We'll go back like this and chop it up, and we got sixteenth divisions right over there. Same thing for MIDI notes and MIDI regions as well, so I'm gonna show it to you on a note. I'm gonna select the note, hold down the option key, and use my scissor to chop this up in four individual notes right here. Now this is determined by the grid value that you're set on. So if you want to go a little bit more deeper for some hi-hat rolls, you can go over up to here, change it over to custom, change the grid value to let's say 32s, and we can cut up this note by 32 note value. Go to the first one, hold down the option key on your keyboard, use the scissor tool to chop that up, and you get a quick roll like that as well. Once you get it down pat, we're to know where to click, you're good to go. It's really easy, a lot easier than it looks. All right, next I'm gonna show you how to mute and unmute things in Logic. First off is a region, select your region, hit M on your keyboard, and that will mute it. Hit M again to unmute it. If you have a MIDI region and you wanna mute out notes, you can do that as well. Select your notes, hit M on your keyboard. It'll mute whatever you've selected. Hit M again to unmute it. All right, last up on the list is to show you how to quickly zoom in on a certain section in Logic, whether it be a region, MIDI region, or your entire session. It's really easy, it's one hotkey. So if you wanna just zoom in on your entire session, just hit Z on your keyboard or Z. It'll zoom into whatever tracks you have. Right now I only have two, so they look massive. If you wanna zoom in on a region, select a region, hit Z or Z on your keyboard, and it will zoom in on that region. Hit Z again to bring it back to normal. And you can do the same thing in your MIDI as well. Select in the MIDI. And to get a really sort of zoomed in look on whatever data you have, Z on your keyboard and you are good to go. So that right there is some of the shortcuts that I use on a day-to-day -day basis in Logic Pro. Feel free to share some of your favorites down in the comment section below. I'll be reading there as well, looking to learn some new ones myself. But other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new in this video. We'll catch you on the next one. Later. Peace.